Here we are at part six of a series I'm calling Things Every Man Should Understand. Whenever you hear someone say boys are supposed to do this or men are supposed to do that or real men do this, anything like that, you should be questioning it immediately. That is someone trying to enforce a gender role on you, a gendered expectation. You need to remember that your gender is not a performance. It's part of your identity. You don't have to do anything to be a man. People who say shit like that are trying to pressure you with their worldview of what your gender is supposed to do or look like. You don't have to subscribe to that. On the other side of that, nobody can take away your identity as a man either. When someone says only women do this or real men don't do that, whatever, that is their view of manhood. That is not your view. You can do whatever you want as a man and still be a man. Being wanted is infinitely better than being needed. In relationships, in friendships, it is so much better to be around people who want you to be there rather than trying to convince people that they need you around. And if you're a kind and good person rather than someone who just does nice things, people are going to want you around. If you can't respect women with their clothes off, then you just don't respect women. If you can't respect women that you're not attracted to, then you just don't respect women. Household chores are not just for women. Chores are part of being a functional adult. If you don't know how to cook or clean your place, you look like a child. If you pretend that you're bad at a basic life skill in order to get the people around you to do it for you, you look like an idiot. That's called weaponized incompetence. It's one of the easiest ways to kill a relationship. That's right, not doing chores will kill your relationship. If you don't like spending time with somebody or you feel like it's a drag when you're around them, you probably shouldn't be dating them. There are so many men who are married or dating and they do not want to spend time with their partner. I've worked with these guys. They don't even like their partner. They just wanted a mate that they could sleep with. And now they dread going home from work every day. If you don't like your partner and don't want to spend time with them, y'all probably shouldn't be together. And last but not least, we need to learn how to develop real friendships. And not just with men, with women, with everybody. Friends that you can depend on, friends that you can vent to, friends that you can ask for real guidance. Not just the homie you play video games with or, or go hooping with. Like an actual support system. Life is hard and we've been brainwashed to believe that as men it is our responsibility to deal with that by ourselves. That's not true. You need to have people you can lean on. You need to have people you can ask for guidance. You need to have people who will tell you when you're doing wrong. And the first conversations that you have with your friend group like that, they're going to be weird. And the next ones are going to be less weird. But men need to learn how to foster deeper connections and friendships. Life is not meant to be a single player game. Squad up. That's it. If you like this video, make sure to like it, share it, all that jazz. All right, here go the shameless plugs. If you like my content and want to support me, there's a few ways you can do so. You can buy me a coffee. There's a link on my IG where you can click it and send me a coffee. I've got a Patreon. It's got nearly 100 of my best videos on there, and I'm still uploading more. This month, access to the entire catalog is just a dollar. But yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting. I will see you in the next video.